And as you've heard, welcome back to Splatoon 3. Today, we are taking a look at another weapon for a weapon showcase, of course. I think the first one on my list is Spot Charger, but I think I wanna skip that for another episode because we just did the try shot in the last episode, which feels sort of like a charger in some ways. So let's try the blast shot on today's episode. As you can see, it's very high on impact, but very low on range and fire rate, but it has the auto bomb and big bubbler. The big bubbler we've seen, I think but yeah, it's a shield. The autobomb we haven't. It's a bomb that automatically seeks out opponents. It will search for opponents in the area that you throw it, and if it finds one, it will automatically start walking toward them. When it approaches an opponent, it stops and explodes. So let's go ahead and equip this one. Um, I think that the blaster is a pretty interesting weapon, so we'll be trying it, of course. Um, first off, we want to go to the practice area in the lobby just to sort of take a look at it, but then after that, maybe we'll do some anarchy battles. I'll definitely start with turf war just to see how I'm feeling with the weapon before we go crazy with anarchy battles, though. So yeah, let's go take a look. Heading into the lobby now. I might change up my outfit a little bit soon. It really just depends on uh, what level these things are at because I'm, I'm sort of liking it so far. But yeah, as you can see, with the blaster, it fires up this sort of balloon, almost a bubble that pops at the end of its range. And that can be very useful for just damaging down people. It only takes two shots, or at least two well-aimed shots, to uh, get rid of something like that. And if we're super close, boom, it's a one-shot takedown. So yeah, pretty useful to use something like this, especially with that explosion. If you even you know roughly hit somebody, they're going to be stuck in your ink, which makes it much harder for them to get away from the second shot. And that's where things can be very useful. And then if they start hopping on you, boom, you put your shield down. You see somebody over there through the autobomb at him, focus on another enemy. Or at least that's the hope. It seems like it might be decent at covering some turf, but I guess we'll see as well as we hop into a battle. Uh, why is this not working? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, there it goes. So yeah, right now we have turf war going on, but I think there's also clan blitz and splat zones. So there's some things we can try. For right now, we'll do regular battle. Like I said, warm up with the blaster and see how things go. Okay, so we're starting with mincemeat metalworks. Pretty fun map. I think we'll have fun here. With this being said though, I don't know too much about the blaster in terms of actually playing with it. I don't remember playing with it too much in previous Splatoon games. So we'll see how things go here in turf four. I'll just try to cover up whatever turf I can and we'll try to make a good impact. But yeah, this is definitely a different one for us compared to what we've been playing with. So a lot more of a slower pace, I feel like, compared to you know like the dualies or the splatter shot in some ways. But I just gotta remember to use my ink a lot because this weapon does use up a, a fair chunk of ink for actually splatting. It looks like we had some enemies up here that I can maybe take on, like you, maybe? Oh wait, there we go, we got a splat! They got me back right after, but that's okay. Um, I was able to get a direct shot on them, and you can see once it hits that direct shot, much better, but I'll try to hop out. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button, so never mind. That's okay, we've got plenty of stuff to cover up around here, so I'll fill up while we're moving. I love the song though. There's a lot of good music in this game, which is surprising, not, not surprising, but just crazy to think that, you know, we got a third game here with such amazing music. I never let up. Okay, so I did see somebody up there, but they're already spotted, so we're just gonna stick away from that, throw an autobomb up, and let's see if it gets anybody in trouble. Okay, I saw somebody for a moment. Oh, 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 there they are. Okay, my range isn't gonna help me there. That's the one thing I'm trying to be very careful of, is that range isn't so great on this weapon. Oh, wait. Okay, got them a little bit, but not quite enough. And that's just where we gotta be really careful, is it feels like there's a lot more long-range weapons than there were in previous Splatoon games. I don't know, but that just, just, just does feel like a little bit of a disadvantage, is that we don't have the most range. But that autobomb can sort of make up for it a little bit. And we're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Oh, come on. Oh, I got them, I got them. Perfect, shield, please. Ah, I don't think it's gonna be enough. I ran out of ink too, so a little unfortunate, but I'm glad I got somebody. That felt pretty good. Okay, so let's get back out there. This weapon is definitely a learned experience, I think. That autobomb goes out pretty far though, I will say. I think ink management is the number one thing for this weapon. Because I see some players over there. I just can't quite reach. I'm trying to though. You're going uphill with it also isn't so good. Gonna toss that over and hope for the best. It sounds like, yeah, some people are getting splatted over here. Okay, there we go. See, I didn't hit any direct shots there, but the explosion of it was able to do enough damage to get rid of them. But that player was too far away from me. So any kind of big stretch of land can be a huge risk for me. Or I gotta be careful with how we maneuver things. I'm only at 400 points right now but I feel like the entirety of her team isn't doing so hot. There we go, I was able to get you. 
And that's where it could just be a really scary weapon. I'm gonna jump over this stuff as much as I can, but I am nearly entirely out of ink. There was another person down. Whoa. Oh, wait. Come on, one more. I just need one more shot on them. Ah, come on. They're moving one way, I'm moving the other. Okay, I'm out of ink. So I'm in trouble, but I'm trying my best. Oh, geez, that was tough, just because I kept running out. But I tried to make a difference here, getting out like that and getting some spots. It seemed to help a little bit, but not enough to make a dent in their win. So we're starting out with a loss, but I think that's okay, because I learned a lot from it. So that, that feels like a win to me, right? So there we go, our first round with a blaster and turf war. Okay, so before we continue on too much, as you can see, a lot of my gear is maxed out at the moment, so I want to just sort of change some of it up and see what I might be able to top out. Um, you know, let's go with this Jean Dream bucket hat and for the shirts. I have a lot of options, so I'm just trying to make a good one quick. Uh, we could just go with the normal t-shirt. I'm running out of time, I'm running out of time. Uh, and oh, we have multiple pages of it too, so. Let's go with these. I think that's an okay outfit. No, it's, it's not the most amazing ever, but it has some extra slots we can level up, and that's always good. So the one thing is I was a little low on points here, 556. It's really difficult to cover turf with this thing effectively, though, so far. But maybe the next round will turn out a little bit better. Okay, so we're going back at it again. I think, yeah, we're on the same map, so hopefully this time things go a little bit better. But I'm just gonna get out there and try to cover some turf. But I might be a little bit more splat-focused in this round because it just seems to be what's more effective. Let's cover that wall. And then I will wait up here for a second. Whoa. And then I saw them up there for a moment. I don't see them anymore. Oh, direct shot is going to get them. So a nice little trade. And as somebody who hasn't played with the blaster very much, it feels like I'm learning at least some key details on what to look out for when I'm going against a blaster player now. And that's good. Oh, Booyah Bomb. Let me help out with that. I wish that the sound cue for the Booyah Bomb was more unique, I guess. So I could. Just hear it and know, oh yeah, that's my time to hit Booyah. Okay, see that crab tank out there. I think my most uh, efficient thing I can do at the moment is to just go out like this and try to hit them. Okay, they're, they're following me. Ah, yikes, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done it that way. This map doesn't feel super blaster friendly. I put there's only so many ways I can go where I'm not just, um, I guess in a way like a sitting duck for them just to hit me from a distance, I can't reach them. So definitely, I think that the blasters Minimal range is its biggest weakness so far. Because I can't even keep up with them. See, that was just frustrating. <laughs> I, I was trying to maybe cut them off a little bit so I can actually reach them, and it just didn't quite work. So we're gonna try again. But we're just going to make sure we're not aiming straight at the floor because if the shot does make contact with the ground, it doesn't have that explosion that seems so important. Yikes, that was super unfortunate too. We were just being held up in our in our corner here. Let's try this again. But if this one doesn't work out, we might switch over to a different game mode because I'm not really feeling turf war with the blaster, to be honest with you. Okay. And look at that, I used up half my thing doing that and I still couldn't even reach him. It's crazy. Throwing out that auto bomb. And then that uses up so much of my ink that I have to sit around for a while. Okay, go this way then. I'm trying to make the most with my aim. Come on, oh, I almost got them. Oh well, uh, let's see, we have the last minute going on here. I think that we could make something happen. If we cover up the turf here and get a couple of crucial spots. But with that being said, I've only gotten one spot so far in this round, so. It's going to be really difficult to make something like that happen, but it is possible. I need to not get spotted here, please. There we go. Um, and then try to get over there to them. I almost reached them, but then somebody else got me. Oh my goodness. This feels like no matter where I am, there's, there's eyes on me somewhere, right? Okay, 12 seconds remaining. This is where we just go for it. We just hop over there. We get some splats. Wait. Come on. How did that not get you? How did that not get you? I, I feel like it hit him directly, but maybe not. Ah, frustrating. So yeah, I'm not really feeling this one with her for. I don't think it's a good weapon for it, so we might just try a different game mode. Maybe that fresh start will help us a little bit more, but for right now, it's a second loss. A little bit closer, I think, in terms of numbers, maybe. I don't know, I feel like we were contending a little bit more that last minute. But yeah, I just, I don't see it working out in turf for. Okay, so we're doing some clan blitz for right now because I didn't want to be locked into five ranked modes with, um. Splat zones with the weapon I'm still trying to figure out. But while we're getting into some clan blitz, I would love to hear your thoughts on the blaster. Is this a weapon you use all that much? And if so, 
what tips you might have for it. Whoa, that person was all over the place. I don't think we quite spotted them, but, oh. And another big thing that we gotta keep in mind, especially in a map like this, we can shoot around corners quite well. So we can just sort of shoot around a corner like that and do some explosions, and that's really nice. So, oh gosh, there's somebody over here, I think. Uh, there was, at least. Okay, we broke their barrier. Let's get over there, then. Um, whoa, no, you came in the worst time! Get out of here! Ha <laughs> ha, landed right in the water. Guess I should have gone the other way. Darn, that would have been great. By the way, somebody broke it, and that's always good. I do see some people over here, so I'll jump over and try to get some spots. I didn't even see them. There was just too much happening there. Oh my gosh. And also, it could just be that I'm not very good with the weapon. Maybe it's the most fantastic turf war weapon of all time, and I'm just not very good with it. It just didn't feel that way to me. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not deal with that. Let's throw an auto bomb over and maybe go a different direction for now. I do see this, which is great. And then I see you over there, but I just can't. Oh, I got them now. That's good, that's good. Let's back it up. And, oh, this is bad. Uh, Come on, I got the football, which means everybody's gonna see me and we get wiped out. Jeez, I was trying my best to make my choices wisely there, but didn't turn out super well. By the way, they still haven't broken anything, so that's good. I'm gonna toss out one of those as they make their way over. Oh, I do see somebody over there. Oh no. Let's grab some of these clams then real quick. And then I will head up this way, but I am, whoa. Well, ah, oh, darn, I just needed more ink. And that's sort of, once again, it's a just huge weakness where I just seem like I can't ever have enough ink with this weapon. Okay, I do see them, and then they're taken out. I'm trying to play it slow and safe, but then I get caught. Come on, I'm going this way then. And then, whoa, there's two players, oh, that's too many, that's way too many. For this weapon, you just can't, oh my gosh. So I know that this weapon, it's supposed to be an offensive weapon, but it's its weird the way you have to play it. Maybe I should just, oh, we wiped them out, okay. That's great, actually. Um, I'll do what I can with that. That's five of them. Come on, come on. Maybe I'll just be a bit more frantic with it. And then just, ah, I almost made it too, that would've been great. If I could've just, boom, made it a little bit farther, that would've been huge. But maybe that's it, maybe I just need to be a little bit more, uh, I guess it's forward thinking with it in a way. Pick up a bunch of clams, run over here, and if anybody gets in my way, just splat them, or not. <laughs> it's hard, because I need to be in that ink, and then jumping out of the ink takes time, and in that time I get splatted. Because my number one goal then is just to run at them and close that distance. Ah, oh, I fire to the left a little bit, so another thing is the fire rate is just not that great. I don't know, it's, it's not a bad weapon, but it's, Definitely not something I would prefer. Oh no you don't, oh no you don't. I hit them a little and then I get hit. Jeez, they are destroying me right now. So it's all not, not all that much different from Turf War, but with that being said, we are still in the lead as a team. As long as we can keep this thing defended, which we sort of are, for now at the least. We got another team wipe out, and then I get wiped <laughs> Oh my goodness. It feels like with Clan Blitz, there's so much happening on the screen. I mean, hard to make out the more specific small details. By the way, I need to make sure that they don't actually... Whoa, okay, flames are popping up everywhere. Okay. Covering up their turf can still be important. I'm just gonna go this way, and then just give them a toss! I made it, I made it, ooh, that was huge! Water level's dropping, so they'll have more room to get over, but so will we. Oh my goodness, so we gotta get up fast so that we can defend our zone, and then throw the, are you kidding me? Well, that's obviously not where I wanted it. Uh, we got the Trizuka, but we can cover that stuff back up real quick. Pick up a couple of clams, and I see at least one of the players over here. There we go! And that's the huge advantage of, you know, not having a football, but they do, is that you can see them. Okay, so I don't know if I can. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I've made a mistake. <laughs> if I could have actually landed my shot, that would have been a great move, because I think I could have jumped up there, but right now, things are looking great. It looks like we're going to win, but things can turn around really fast in Clan Blitz. We gotta be careful, gotta make our moves right. But right now, it looks like, oh, I spotted somebody with that? I can't believe it. Okay, that was really good. Um, I'm going to go this way, and then just try to cause some havoc because it looks like there's somebody over there I can trouble. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, wait, 
Come on, get you. Oh, I almost got you. I wanted me to land one more shot. Is there an overtime right now? Somebody stop that person. That was good. Come on, just a little bit more for overtime. And we broke the barrier again, so that's gonna be game. We won, so maybe Blaster's a little bit better with Clan Blitz. I feel like I was picking things up a little bit better towards the end there. But look at that, 65 the zeros, to the zero, <laughs> the good guys win. Now it looks like I didn't get too many good medals for that, but you know I'll take what I can get. So there we go, our first Blaster win. I love the flames on the side of this weapon, it's very cool. It's a very flashy weapon, if not anything else, it has a cool look to it, so you can definitely appreciate that. But, you know, I think we're sort of figuring things out at least a little bit. We had some kind of impact there and we get plus eight points because of it. Let's go for another clan blitz and maybe this time we can even have a greater impact. We're level 14 now and we're getting some different ability chunks unlocked. Good to see, good to see. Let's stick with the team. Oh, look at this one. We're back in this map. I forget what it is, the Splatlands, I think. Very cool one though, I like it. So, clan blitz on the Splatlands. Let's see how things go. Yeah, I definitely have not played clan blitz on this one, so. This will be interesting, because I think I've, I've played it on the resort before. So where is the little thing for them? I'm not really quite sure. Uh, but there's more to grab over here. Actually, a lot more to grab. I need to be careful, because I think they're huh, right behind me. Yep, they are definitely right behind me. We can just grab a few more clams somewhere. There's seven. I think we need one more. Yo, let's throw that auto bomb out and play it a little bit careful at the moment. This is a weird map for this so far. Just gonna try to destroy this thing. There we go, come on, one more. And then I got the super. Okay, let's just go for it. I'm just gonna jump and then throw it. Do I do I throw it far enough? No, I don't. <laughs> Darn. Yeah, I don't really know because like I said, I haven't really played the map before. So I need to try again. This time I'm gonna be all out of clams out. So that football's gonna disappear. Don't worry, we can get over, no problem. What is that? That's a booyah bomb. Okay, who can we fight over this way then? Is there anybody over here? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, going this way then. Maybe up here to grab this clan. I'm up to three of them. And I do see you over here. And I think there's another blaster somewhere. I don't know if on my team or something. I think on their team. At least I thought I heard it. Oh no. Okay, they don't see me. They don't see me. Got them, nice. All right, that was pretty good. Let's head back over, pick up some of this stuff. Things are getting a little crazy right now. And we broke the barrier, so you know what? I'm just gonna ignore you and then run, run, run. Come on, I got a couple in. There we go, not bad. Okay, then I get spotted, but I got all my clans in, so that's a huge jump forward. That was a good move then, to plunk the shield down and throw the clans in. That's what we like to see. Okay, so we need to find some more clans as soon as possible, because I think that the barrier's back up for them. Oh no, it's down actually, so I could try to get over a little bit more. Whoa, whoa. Oh, see, that's what happens when you're in those even slightly wide open areas. Oh, that one, that's the Clash Blaster. It seems to have a much faster fire rate. I wanna use that weapon. Cause I think the basis of the blaster so far is really good, but maybe this specific blaster isn't the best. Okay, let's toss that over because they're going a little crazy on me. I'm going to try to sneak over a little bit. Somebody got them, that's good. And I do see a couple more over here. There's my teammates up that way. I'm trying to play it safe, you know, as much as I can. Oh gosh, over there. I got them, maybe, I know somebody got them. If, if it was me or not, I'm not sure. Oh, that's all, that's all. The barrier's back up as soon as they get over here. Okay, let's grab a couple more clams then. My teammates seem to be getting them now. I'm up to five, so I need three more. I bet there's not many clams. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Things very bouncy. How many clams are actually popping up? I need one more clam, guys. Where can we find one? Right up there, but I don't know if I can reach it. Oh, I got it, I got it. Somebody tossed me a clam so that I could break the barrier. Well, thank you. Here's our shield as well, so just go. Whoa, wait a minute. There we go. Come on, that was good, that was good. Even if we didn't do too much beyond that, that was some huge numbers. And once again, I did the same strategy where I put that shield down, and that seemed to help. Haven't, don't, I, or at least I don't feel like I have done much with the, what's it called? The auto bomb, but hopefully as things go on in today's episode. Oh no, 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 no! I'll do something. I do see you down here and I don't know if you see me, but regardless, I can't reach you. Oh, I think they thought I was over there. Darn, and I couldn't get them still. That was a lot of clans I just dropped. It was like six of them. 
Okay, let's get back over there then as soon as possible, because we are in the lead again. We've been playing a good game of Clan Blitz, at the least. Oh, oh, there we go. Not bad. Got them when they were plopping down too, so I thought that was a pretty cool move. I need one more clam. Whoa, I didn't mean to go down here, that scared me. Uh, right here, right here, come on. No, I need two more clams. No, come on, I needed those. That's fine, if you can break it open. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I need to back it up. But then we're gonna go forward again, because I think they thought we, we ran away. That was good. So we broke the barrier, but there's not too much of a follow-up, unfortunately. So I don't know if that's really gonna do much. Because at first, when you break the barrier, it gives you um, 20 points, but it doesn't always do that. But at the least, it forces them to play defensive, which means they're not out here trying to break our barrier. So that's good. Okay, so what can we do from over here, maybe? With only five seconds remaining, I might try to jump over. Whoa, hold on. Come on, almost got him. I got them, I got them. Whoa, don't get spotted. And then they're over here. I have not gone on from, or gone over from that way. That was pretty cool. So honestly, I feel like I did have more impact that game. I don't think I played the best or anything, but I definitely helped out in different ways. So I'm happy to see that we're figuring out this kid a bit more. And we got the number one score booster, as well as the number one ground traveler and big bubbler user. All right, very nice stuff. Good job to our team. We all did great. So, yeah, let's see what our stats were for that one. I don't think I got a ton of splats, but uh, we can see we have four spots and we got spotted six times. We get eight more points, so we're over 200 now, finally. That's nice. And we're almost level 15. So I think, once again, we'll stick with this team and see what else we can accomplish. So we're back at Scorch Gorge is what it's called. Yeah, all right. Sorry, got to mix up before, but that's okay. Uh, Looks like we're the blue team this time. Hopefully we can continue having fun with the blaster. Can we get a third win in a row, or we're, we're, is this where the uh, win streak will end? I guess we'll find out. But for right now, we are going to head this way, because it looks like all of my teammates are going the other direction. We want to make sure to spread out at least a little bit so we can grab the clams. I see some enemies coming over. I might pop down here. Just trying to find some alternative ways around. Whoa, they see me. Okay, uh, good to know. And they also have a blaster, but a different kind. Uh, whoa, wait a minute, right there. Got them, I took a couple of shots, but you know what, let's run up here really quickly and set up the shield. There we go, and then hopefully people can come back with their clams. I don't think anybody has a full football, is a problem. Oh wait, oh wait, come on. No, I just had it too, get out of here. We're spotting a bunch of people. Oh my gosh, guess I should have sh waited for the shield, but it's okay. We'll get back out there, we'll find some more clams. It shows you that we're in the lead if we're able to get that close. We're almost at like double. Whoa, whoa, that was super fortunate. That was super duper lucky. I'm gonna toss that auto bomb over there. And I think there was another player somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. Oh, they also have it, the double spot. I'm spotting a lot of people so far. Okay. How do we do this? It looks like somebody's in trouble over that way. I'm trying to help where I can. Oh no. Oh, I got them, I got them. When you get that direct shot, it is so satisfying. Oh no. With that being said, it's hard to do, but I did get two more. They are all sacked up over here, so we need some teammates over there pronto. But I think it's something we can do. Ready, go, go, go. Oh no, they broke our barrier, so we're actually in huge trouble now. Uh, but it looks like that's all they did. I wanna grab that clam. I can't, oh no, I can, I can. I see a couple over this way. So our barrier's back up, that's good. And they might have gotten the first barrier break as we trade splats again, but I think that we could also just bounce back from that pretty well. 74 points isn't too huge. Okay, so where are the clams at? I see a bundle of them right there. I'm going to try to get up this way and see how I might be able to control things a little bit. So if I go this way, Fill up on ink a little bit. Come on. Oh, I really needed to land that shot and I was just barely off. Darn. Okay, that really does mess a couple of things up, but it's okay. Somebody on our team has the football. So maybe we'll be all right. I'll have to see here in a moment. As they're coming up, toss that auto bomb at them. Come on, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That just feels like a better weapon, the Clash Blaster. 
It's just my weapon, but more shots. That hardly feels fair. All right, well, I'll definitely have to showcase that one too, because I'm sort of, the more I do play this weapon, the more I'm liking it. it it's not the, ooh, the best weapon ever, but I feel like it does have some fun. Some fun features to it. Okay, ready, and wait for this person, and then splat him, there you go. Not gonna let them do any of that. Tossing that way over there, and then we gotta restore ink as much as possible. Let's see if there's anything to be had up this way. Our barrier is back. Toss the auto bomb onto that. Whoa, my player sort of scared me. My teammate there. Okay, so, oh, got him. Shield up, shield up. All right, so who can we beat up around here? Wait a minute, there's you. Ah, wait, I'm pressing the button. I'm trying to get rid of him. Ah, I don't know what happened there. I'm trying to shoot at him. I think I was out of ink. It was just a moment of panic. Jeez, we're trying so hard. We broke their barrier. Yes, we gotta get over there right now then. I mean, I gotta get some clams first, but. Got it. Go over here too. And then I can toss over an Autobahn. One minute left. That is plenty of time for a comeback, right? I sure hope so. I don't know if I want them to see me just yet is the problem. Okay, I don't think they know I'm up here. Okay, now they, now they definitely will. Come on, I got them, I got them. Okay, that was good. Back it up a little bit, but then we gotta, we're gonna go. We're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. All right, ready? Shield up, break that barrier. Go, 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 go. Come on, we got another spot. Come on, wait, wait. I'm trying to shoot at them, but I'm out of ink again. You just run out of ink so quickly. And we broke the barrier, but we need more points. Come on, the barrier is back up. Come on, we're gonna try as hard as we can to make this work. I see a couple more to get over this way with 10 seconds remaining. Is there any way we can get an overtime? I do see them. Ah, oh, I couldn't splat him. Darn. Uh, and now here comes the real overtime. Whoever wins this one deserves it. That's for sure. Will they get them? Oh, the pressure is on. No! Ah, oh, they broke our barrier again. That was a rough game, but a really intense one. It could have been anyone's. We, we almost stole it from them, but couldn't quite make it work. But overall, like I said, very solid. 42 to 63 is a close score for Clan Blitz. They got some cool outfits on their team now, for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I wanna see exactly how many splats we got, because I feel like I got a ton of splats in that one. But I guess we'll find out here in a moment. Got number one score booster, Clam Stopper, and Ink Consumer. So pretty good stuff. I think I said I had 14 splats in that round as the multiplayer maps and modes have been updated. That was a lot of fun. So I guess I won't see any more details than that, unfortunately. But yeah, I was actually really happy with the performance I came, even if we did lose, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more used to the blaster. So let's see, I might be able to do one more round for today's episode. Let's take a look at what it's going to be. It's gonna be tower control in the Hagglefish market in Wahoo World, one of the two, let's find out. So tower control on the Hagglefish market. I feel like, you know, Blaster could be really good for tower control. It's so weird that we're in like little coffee machines, it looks like. You know, I've, I've, I've probably pointed that out before, but random thought. I like when we spawn in, our characters pop out of coffee machines. Either way, I think this could be good for tower control. Cause if somebody's on the tower, you just blast the tower. Oh no. I'm very bad at actually throwing that Autobahn. Ah, they saw me! Really? <laughs> Come on! I thought I was being sneaky and I was just sitting right there. Okay, well that's not good. I think they were just covering turf and I just happened to be there. Okay, they took the tower to start with. But this is also another one where turnarounds are pretty common. And it looks like my Autobahn has locked onto somebody and look at that, a full wipeout and everything. So let's cover some turf ahead of where they're going. Um, well I wasn't expecting them to be back so soon. You know, usually when I see wipeout, I think that means we have a moment. I guess I should have paid more attention because it could just be that the fraction before somebody respawned, the last player got splatted. So that's probably what happened. They took the tower back. We're gonna toss out that auto bomb as far as I can. They are also tossing, oh my gosh. Dude, that got me really easy. What was that? That was just a hero shot replica. This person's getting me left and right. Okay, let's try again. And let's see what we can do with all of this, because right now we have the tower. Trying to keep it that way. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
They are all over the place right now. So let's try again. There we go, just gonna run over. They're at checkpoint one, which definitely isn't so good. I do see you right there. Trying to shoot at where they're gonna be, not where they are. Oh no, don't wanna deal with that. Oh no, too many enemies, there's too many of them. It, it does not feel like they have four people on their team. It feels like they have like a good seven or eight. Everywhere I turn, they're ready to splat me. Okay, so I just need to get up there. There we go. Um, then, uh, hard to catch with dual use players. Why are we doing this when I could be on the tower? There we go. Toss it over, fill up on ink as soon as we can. And I'm just trying to keep a good eye out for where the players might be coming up. Make sure that uh, it all gets properly spotted because we need to get up here. So you know what, shield, yeah shield. That'd be really helpful. There we go. Come on. I might not be able to fully break them down, but I can. Oh no, am I out of ink? I don't know why I couldn't. Ah, come on. Oh no. I guess it was covered in their ink. All right, let's run back over. I can already see some of them, so tossing an auto bomb doesn't sound like too bad of an idea. But if there's nobody around for it, it just ends up immediately exploding. Come on, oh my goodness, come on. That was so frustrating. I'm trying to shoot at them, but I just can't. Let's try again, though. Because they're pushing it back over. And they have, of course, made a lot more progress than we have with it. Might just throw another auto bomb. Oh, it's on top of it this time, so. And then I see you over here. And I haven't gotten nearly as many spots this round. I don't know what the difference is. Why it's so much harder in this round. I guess maybe just the type of players they have. They have the dually players which are just swinging around all over the place and that's very hard to keep up with. Okay, so they lost the tower. We're gonna take it back though. Oh, I saw you over there. I'm trying to just cover turf where I can. And then, oh wait, 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 ah, that did not, if I actually had ink, that might have been a decent idea, but it, it just, the this turf I have to cover on the way uses up more ink than it takes for me to get over there. It, it's just so bizarre in that way. You have to work with the paths that are already main, but if there are no paths, then you're sort of out of luck. I tried to fire, it sounded like I fired, and I had the X on them, but no splat, so something went wrong there. So I am trying to get, or understand this weapon a little bit more, and I feel like I'm getting there. I still don't think it's my favorite weapon ever, to be honest with you. Come on, I got them a little bit. It's just its range is too short compared to so many other weapons that you just, there's so many situations you'll get caught in that you just don't win. And that one might have been my fault, but I don't know, that one felt silly. It looked like they were literally just in the middle of my explosion and I don't get anything for it. So maybe the game's just being a bit silly this round. Maybe there's some connection issues. That one was my fault. I ran right into that one. But a little deflating here in tower control. I wish we were back on Clan Bliss. Okay, eight seconds remaining. Can we get that tower and turn it around? I got one person. Get on that tower right now, right now. Oh, come on, get out of here. All right, well, a very deflating round of tower control to finish things off. The blaster is not a bad weapon, but maybe not the weapon for me. I think I'm excited to check out some of its variants, for sure. Some of the ones that might have faster fire rate or longer range might work out a bit better for me than the bl basic blaster. But that's why I wanna hear your thoughts on this weapon. Maybe I'm all wrong about it. This is the best version. Definitely let me know your thoughts on it. But for right now, we're gonna head out of here, maybe buy some extra bits of clothing from the shop. That'd be pretty cool. We had not a good round for me. Three spots and 13 splatted. <laughs> you know what I mean, I got spotted 13 times. But get our catalog level to 15, so that's not too bad. We're at least leveling up and progressing in some ways. Uh, let's go and grab some stuff from here. I earned some coins from Salmon Run, so we can spend that. And ta-da, we get some stickers. Time to freshen up our locker. We have to do that soon, for sure, but not anything I'm going to worry about too much today. I want to just go check out the clothing shops and just buy a couple more articles of clothing. Or maybe more fo so focus on the uh, locker gear, because I feel like I focused on the clothing last time we were shopping. And there's more stuff to do in the general shop, so let's see. We got our catalog leveled up, so that should be some extra rewards coming in. Oh, hey. Oh, your catalog level went up. Well, here's your reward. So we get a bunch of stuff for that, including some extra cards and the banner. 
So let's check out our pack of cards. Ta-da! Oh, we get a Squid Beacon, H3 Nozzle Nose, and Octo Missile, which is pretty cool, because I think next episode I plan on actually checking out that game mode, the uh, Table Turf mode. Um, but in the meantime, we have things like the Shark Tooth Comics Double. Ooh, I'll buy that. Nice little comic book. And then, what else here? Looks like we have the Inkopolis Illustrator. We got some cool magazines. I like that. We'll buy one more thing from round here, especially if we don't own it. We still can't get the Sea Snail, man. But maybe just a large box for 800. Nothing too crazy, but I would like to have one of everything eventually. Is there anything in here I want to get? The Turbo Tabby Reds. Seem like they have a lot of slots. We might as well pick those up. And then the Red High Tops. Everything else is stars, so. We'll do that for now. Switching over this side, that's a cool jacket. Um, if I try this on, whoa, I do like that. And then this fancy fish stitch, that's that's another nice one. Sometimes having just a basic polo as well. Not a polo, uh, I guess it's sort of a polo shirt. Um, but it's a, what is that word? I always forget the word for this, plaid. There we go. Uh, but there's so many cool options here. I'm gonna spend some money on it. Why not, zapfish satin jacket, there you go, and then, We'll go ahead and get the fancy fish stitch. And that's all I can really put to it for right now. Oh no, I wanted to keep shopping. I don't know why I pressed back. Because there's still a couple more things we could do, like uh, check out our headgear. And then we'll be done. Okay, so any cool headgear for us to check out? Only two new pieces. We got the double egg shades, sure. And then a little bit more money left over. So let's go ahead and buy the wharf side cap. Pretty cool cap, actually. Interesting, it's like a half but without the brim in that way. It has a little backing to it. Interesting clothing here, for sure. Like seeing it. Um, so we're gonna back out of all that. That was our look at the blaster. Next episode, we'll play some table turf and plenty more episodes coming soon, checking out some of the different weapons and such. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Splatoon 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.